All right, welcome back, everybody. Grand Finals time now here for the Summoning Valorant Tournament. An exciting matchup coming right up. Tedward Gaming, as we just saw in the semifinals, able to take care of the Genki. And then it's going to be the tournament favorite, Phase Up, who just had their way with the Mickey Mouse Clubhouse. Now looking to try and do the same versus Tedward Gaming. Starting things off on Sunset. Ari, what are we looking at here? Mm, I've, I'm predicting a mirror comp, to be honest. I, I feel like since it's the grand finals, they're going to take it a little more seriously, you know? Mm. Just because, well, I'm not sure about the uh, the prize pool, but, uh, you know, a lot's on the line, so... Oh, 100%. Oh, okay, maybe they're going, maybe Faceup's going for a double duelist. That's pretty... Hmm, okay, so my mirror comp prediction was wrong, but that's okay, because this is still pretty good. I like... I don't think I said this last uh, last last time they, uh, they played Sunset, but um, I really like the Neon Gecko combo, just because of, like, the flash is retrievable, and you can use it, like, technically, if, like, just as many times as you can pick it up per round. So, like... <laughs> like a teammate can pick it up, or...? No, 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 Gecko picks Gecko's it up. Pick up yeah, Gecko himself? can pick up his utilities twice. So, um... <laughs> okay. That with the double duelist comp is always pretty good. Um, for Tedward Gaming, it's 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 standard. I like the double initiator. I don't mind it. Um, yeah, I don't know. I like that they're both running neon. I I, I want to see more neon on this map. So I guess I'm getting what I want. Fair enough. And then the last or the last time we got to see Sunset here, just in the last match, actually, one of the things that we were kind of commenting on is just how many different pathways, and it seems like. Your flanks were getting flanked by another flanker and another mm. flanker on top of that. Yeah. <laughs> like, there's so much room to work with, which did make for some pretty exciting rounds. So what a fantastic yeah. way to start us off here in this grand final. Mm -hmm. Looks like phase up going to start over towards that B side, maybe some mid action as well. I see Cypher leaning over towards there. And it looks like Tedward Gaming are going to get... Um, Either they're getting aggressive mid, or they will be holding for that mid aggression from phase up. So we're about to see as this round starts. Alrighty then. Now started things off immediately, and that is going to be first blood there. Going over to Kinetic after a fantastic little shot with that ghost. Right. Phase up. Taking all that mid control on that pistol round so far. The world is their oyster. They have options. They got first blood. They have all of mid. They can go wherever they want to go. Cheesecake in market is looking to respond, but is a little bit wary about their B main. Sev does make contact with Larry Banks up top mid. They now have top mid space, and as this fight's going on, oh no, <laughs> phase up is looking towards A as their final destination. But Larry Banks was unaware of Nyx from mid, and now it is an even 4v4. F Bomb is still not planted, but it will be very soon with Tedward Gaming on that retake. All right, party at the A site. Who's coming? We do see the spike getting planted down, and the alarm has been set off. Everybody is running on over, but this has given the side of phase up so much time to get into the whichever post-plant position they would like to be in. We do see um, the Hadoopy. It was fantastic in the last couple of series, right? It'd be the lone wolf here on the northern side while everybody else is going towards the other one. It does manage to win their first duel, and that is going to be the sign. Dove is just going to be immediately taken care of. Cheesecake fights one, fights a second, gets an additional damage, wow. whips out the knife for a little bit of extra help as well. But teammates able to clean that up, and there we go. Tedward Gaming are going to be the first ones on the board after a successful retake. Did you notice the uh, the two right, classic record kills? Yes. From Cheesecake, yeah. Free gun, free gun. <laughs> Always love some classic gameplay. Clean round from Tedward Gaming. And we're about to see Phase Up's response. If I know anything about Phase Up, is uh, I know they can turn back any round in their favor, to be honest. And they have Deagles, so honestly. It's very doable. <laughs> it can go either way. Absolutely. There's always the risk of uh, getting just aim diffed with the sheriff or something. So it could be absolutely deadly. And of course, some rather deadly high rated players here on this phase up squad. I know a couple of people are mentioning Larry earlier on. If the sources are to be correct, he's currently sitting like number 11 in North America right now. Mm. So uh, mate knows how to play this game, that's for sure. Right. Phase up, looking to take that market control. Oh. Our man tries to take a timing, but is unfortunately caught out by Nyx. Larry nice. Banks trades it back onto Cheesecake. Nyx expecting another one from B main. The read would be correct. Oh. Sees the jump peak. But Elvis does not let the, the blind fly just yet. It is shot down. It doesn't matter. Sev gets the kill onto Larry Banks, sending in the wingman to plant. DOV 3-5, protecting little guy. But unfortunately, no, fortunately. <laughs> oh my goodness. Fortunately for Nyx, they, okay. they get four on the round and just an easy second for Tedward gaming. 
All right, so sure, you might have been able to get that plant off in the long run, but everybody just died. Nyx with a fantastic couple of eliminations for themselves to just, just put that extra spice on that start. But now that phase up had the opportunity to do that eco round. They will be loading up here for the next one. Granted, in a very, very scary position anytime you're stuck down 2 0 early like this. Right. Seems like Tedward Gaming has a bit of a read on, or is trying to get a bit of a read on where phase up is going to go. Sending most of their players over towards A, and they would be correct because f I'm pretty sure all five of members of phase up are in that A main. Yup, Sev making contact with that Omen Blind. Snorlax oh, getting geez. Omen Blind, Gecko Blind. Nobody can see anything. Somehow, Snorlax nice. through the chaos still gets a headshot onto Larry Banks and that first round for Tedward Gaming. And in response, phase up. Slow it down. Yeah. Maybe try to look for a pick. Yeah, party is But they don't like, leave. As I said, the party looks like it's going to be at this A site once again here. Off on the uh, the right hand side here. Or a man is going to find the elimination there. And, but Snorlax is going to answer right away. <laughs> neon for Neon. This time by three on four in the favor of Tedward Gaming. But they don't necessarily have the positioning around the site that I'm sure they'd want, but they are managing to get a couple more additional eliminations. But Aura looking to fight right on back. Elimination for elimination once again. That is going to be Dove's once again getting a couple eliminations all down to Sev to try and hold this, but that spike is planted. Sev only having a stinger. Is aware of where they could nice. be, aware of the oh. last, but unfortunately that's just a gun diff in DV. DOV 35 just gets it. They just win that round. I've been calling it up Doves. That's what it's supposed to be, D-O-V-35. <laughs> Wait. No, you're supposed to, it's Doves. Doves? Doves. I see. I see it now. I'm so sorry. I've been pronouncing it wrong this entire time. It's All right. A, it's okay. I need to go back to uh, to YouTube to learn how to uh, lead speak, apparently. <laughs> Me too. <laughs> I never learned lead speak either, so it's all good. <laughs> but yeah, yeah phase up will get their first round on the clean anti-bonus. Yeah, nice little round there for Doves. Now the rest of phase up. After a couple of rough first rounds there when the pistol round didn't go their way, now they're probably feeling kind of confident, to say the least. They're, they had a couple of members still alive that so didn't take brutal e eco damage. But where are they going to end up going? They're taking their time, just hovering around mid and seeing what uh, shows itself. For sure, phase up going for that mid control once again. Tedward Gaming, eager to give it. They're like, okay, take that mid, we don't mind. We'll just counter you when you get into market. And oh. as I say that, Snorlax sending out a huge stun, getting kills onto Kinetic and Larry Banks. Elvis shooting back from mid, but really it's kind of futile. Doves unfortunately gets isolated in market. Elvis okay. does get one of their own, but it does not matter. Duck a Doobie trades it out and gets a third for Tedward Gaming. Okay, so I guess round four, we're just going to A ram it right in the middle. Just everybody. Yeah. Gather mid and play chicken with each other, apparently. But I guess. Looks like Kinetic's buying a hero rifle, though, for the side of uh, <laughs> phase up. The absolute legend. If this does manage to work out, absolutely oh, stupid if it doesn't. So, yeah, fair enough. Switch it right back. Or maybe you get a couple people to come with you. No, I'm, I'm seeing a bunch of sheriffs. So, probably going to take it slow here this time by and we'll see what happens. Or they just maybe eat my words again. Maybe a hero rifle. But <laughs> what looks like probably an eco round, and then there's just Kinetic. Mm -hmm. Anything is possible, especially if you have uh, Kinetic on your team. Another five-man push towards A, but the, do they expect Nyx on this off angle? No, they do not. Nyx oh. gets one, Snorlax gets one, Sev gets one. Everybody is just good for their ones. Uh, Dubs is also good for their two, as they get two kills on the round. They get to a 3v2. Dubs gets oh a my. third, evening it out. Single-handedly turning around the round for just for their team. And now, it's up to... Tedward Gaming to turn it around back like, in their favor. That was almost catastrophic because Kinetic was the one who had the rifle and they immediately went down, but Tubbs yeah. actually picked it back up. And it looks like the, the Omen also picked up a rifle for themselves. So now what looked like uh, kind of play, what I was definitely kind of questioning, does give them a good probable chance to have this round in the bag if they can secure this post plant. Smoke's coming on through, trying to block. The defuse coming on through. Goes for oh, the stick and right through the yeah. smoke. Larry Banks with the finishing job. Not bad at all. Not a bad thrifty. Like I said, anything is possible if you phase up, even if you have sheriffs and or a weaker buy. But so far, hmm, both teams looking pretty evenly matched. 
This is one of those moments where I do not mind having, or the players just getting me to shut up a little bit and reminding me why I'm on the commentary desk. <laughs> Maybe they just are that damn good to make it work, even if it may seem like a low probability chance, but they make it work. They get themselves another round closer here to tying this thing up. And uh, we have people just diving immediately up to start here. The fun of having two Neons on the field at the same time. The Taser's oh. coming on through. That is going to be a quick double. Looks for more, but it's actually going to be stopped yeah, by did. Kinetic. Yeah, Neon versus Neon battle. Kinetic coming out on top and on top with a triple. With maybe a little bit more in the tank. FaZe looking to get their third. Bomb is not down just yet, though. What can Tedward Gaming do? The plant is going to come on down here, so job complete here for phase up. Just have to protect at this point. Tedward Gaming, there's the one to the north. Duckadoobie is right there, ready and waiting, but trying to get that Sova in position. That Sova is going to be and for a world of hurt. Cheesecake finds one. Can they get turned on, though? They are going to get turned on, so it is all up to Duck to try and finish this off, as that is going to be a sliding in kinetic, securing the 4K and securing the round. Not bad. Not bad at all. Honestly, I like the utility usage from both of these teams. It's all very much, um, what's the word? I'm blanking, but uh, it's fun. It is, yeah, it's fun. I know much. that's not the word you're probably looking for, but no, but just, you're not wrong. Just seeing them actually like utilizing, or I'm kind of seeing this a little bit more compared to the last game, but it feels like they're utilizing Neon's toolkit a little bit better, yeah. alongside everything else on top of that. Yeah, it's just I was, I was seeming cleaner. That. Yeah, you know, I was thinking that the Neon uh, utility oh usage is, is a lot better. And we're still seeing those aggressive plays, but um, a bit more measured, maybe. A, a, a bit more controlled. So it's like, um, what's it, controlled chaos, something like that? Yeah, exactly. And speaking of which, Kinetic just movement diffing absolutely everybody. Duck could oh. be Snorlax somehow getting Larry Banks. They said, I don't care about your satchels, I'm getting my kill. But Phase Up responds with four in a row, just lighting up the oh kill feed goodness. in red and it leaves everything all up to cheesecake to try to win this 1v4 clutch with the sheriff yeah and that it's is just not good. happening yeah. it's just immediately not shut down from aura man no hope for you this time which should be fair it was an eco round so mm. it was not necessarily in the cards for them or at least very likely but yeah i got shredded down pretty quickly yeah if you if you look towards snorlax you can see that they have enough for an op so Oh, I thought, sorry, I thought that the Snorlax was on attack for a minute, but uh, no, wrong side. Snorlax is going to be on that, uh, you know, classic defense op on Neon. Maybe it's because I don't, uh, we don't see a Neon as much in, in, like, competitive play as much as other mm -hmm. duelists, um, except as of recently, but uh, how viable is the Neon op? We are about to find out another heavy A stack. To they got what? <laughs> another heavy A stack. For to, for eight for phase up and um, while that was going on Snorlax does get his one with the up and finds uh -oh. the cipher in mid Larry Banks sending in the ult finding cheesecake Nyx though trading it back with two of their own holding it down so well on the site nice. make it a third Elvis trying to tr trying to trade out their teammates oh my. it's just not happening Nyx just an e All right. easy win for Tedward Gaming once again four of their own I mean, to go off what you were saying there about Snorlax being on attack, I mean, with Neon, considering the way that they just dive on into the fight, they feel like they might as well be an attacker, regardless of which mm. side they're on, so fair enough in that regard. But got the one initial pick, and then the rest of the team cleaned it up from there. Mm -hmm. And one thing I do want to give the announcement for, since the schedule did kind of change a little bit with the uh, Grand Finals going a little later than expected, if you are looking for that Pokemon box opening that I was talking about a little bit earlier, that has been moved over to Saints Gaming CA2, because this match is still in progress, and the people that are opening it do, of course, need to keep on, uh, keep on moving here. And we don't want to stop the Grand Finals, so keep the action rolling. But if you are curious as to what gets pulled, we fire it open in another tab. But we do see Cheesecake in this one immediately getting traded out. Or man going to get another one as well. That could do be immediately taken off the field. But this B-site looks nice and controlled for the plants to come down. Overall, not a bad exec at all for phase up. They do have numbers still. Ne like we said earlier, never count out any one of these players. Anyone is capable of clutching. 
Snorlax has an op, Nyx has their insane aim. As I say that, they do get and taken Larry. down by Larry Banks. I am just cast recursing left, right, and center today. <laughs> oh, but it's fine, we keep going. Larry Banks just on a tear. Nice flick onto Sev. Okay. Uh, Snorlax gets the other gets kinetic with the op. And now it is Snorlax in a 1v3 against the op. Does get the one, somehow escapes with their life. Will they choose to fight it or will they choose to save the op as best they can? And they're still within collision course here at the right idea. Yeah, it's time to run. <laughs> run from that race as best as possible. Oh, but they still might. Uh, oh, oh, close. <laughs> that was so close. Luckily, they do keep their life. Snorlax been able to bring that off into the next round. All vandals, all rifles for the side of phase up. Pretty standard. They do have gecko alt up, so maybe an easy sight exec is on the horizon. But they do have... On the side of Tedward Gaming, there are a bunch of really good retake ults as well that they could use to counter that. So, I don't know. We just see how this plays out. It looks like phase up. Phase up really do like their heavy stacks. They don't do a lot of like spread out defaulty mm -hmm. plays. A lot of um, just like, yeah, heavy over favoring one site most of the time. And this round is no different. They are stacked up towards the A or mid. Or men taking contact with Snorlax, but... Even though shots oh. are fired, nobody dies. Snorlax decides to give the space, keep their op, keep their life for now, as phase up regroup and try start execing onto an empty A site. Yeah, that smoke just made it so awkward there for Snorlax to try and defend from. And they are still going to be around to try and defend as the rest of phase up are now on this A site. Takadubi nearby alongside the breach and slowly but surely Snorlax is making their way. But these kind of close quarters engagements is where this op is going to just start feeling very, very awkward. And when you have these players all in their post plants positions, all sorts of elevations and angles, this is just so scary to have to do for their for uh, Tedward. For sure. I don't think anyone would expect doves on this off. It's just off angles galore for the side mm -hmm. of phase up. Um, Larry Banks is on one, doves is on one, and it looks like Tedward Gaming are going to choose to just save their rifles in this round. Yeah, fair enough. They're going to try and hunt, actually. It looks like Larry Banks going to lead the charge. Snorlax, though, is actually going to hunt them down. Looks for another, Ooh. but the fantastic backup there from Sev, considering that the animation for that shot was still in progress there. Another one comes on through, but unfortunately here for Tedward Gaming, more and more players are going to fall. And because of that, if I do recall correctly, I think I just saw that op get picked up as well. So they... Phase up wins the round and get an op for their troubles. Yeah. Yikes. But I actually don't see it on the board, so maybe it's threw it away. I mean, probably. Tedward Gaming now on a bit of a broken buy. One hero rifle for Duck Doobie and the rest of them on Sheriffs and a classic for Snorlax. Still, even despite their weak weapons, Tedward Gaming can turn this round, so they have four ults. They can definitely make this work in their favor if only they time it right, if only they do the right things. Again, another heavy play from Phase up. Nothing to see here. We've all we've all seen it. We've all been there. But this time, Tedward Gaming taking advantage of their weaker weapons are pushing up, taking that beam main space before Phase can do the same. And they are right about to run into each other. I was gonna say this is a collision course waiting to happen. But uh, the Tedward does, Gaming ultimately decides to give up that space for now. Yeah, like that would have been ambitious but fun to watch but fun to watch does not necessarily lead to a high probability success play so mm -hmm. good on them to have that little tactical retreat nix has got themselves in a pretty solid position here however i don't care how good your shot is with that sheriff you're not going to take five and cheesecake and nix are trying to deal with it and it's just so difficult to try and get that neon who's just bobbing and weaving all over the place or man does manage to take care of one but kinetic is here with the lightning gun the lightning zap or whatever you want to call this thing just shredding through everybody this one's not looking very well here for tedward honestly the most Sev can do right now is try to die to bomb but as i say that doves does just shoot them in the back Faces. locking in that flawless round that for phase round up in the half. since when did wukong come in here and just wombo combo you on death that's the first time i think <laughs> i've seen that uh these death animations always surprise me yeah right Still four ults for the side of Tever Gaming. I don't think any of their ults were used last round just because it was on an eco, but we can definitely probably end up seeing some this round. Snorlax able to buy another op. I'm going to cast Recurse it again, but I'm going to say it. This round is looking very, very good for Tedward Gaming, just based off of the loadout and the ult economy. 
I will definitely hope you're right. They need something to kind of break the momentum here of phase up and get themselves back on the board. And honestly, a snipe like that is a good way to start things off. Snorlax getting on the board nice and quick after sniping out the RMN. But then now immediately just getting destroyed through the wall with that Vandal. Sorry, Banks going to find one as well. And what was that, sorry? Um, it's coming through the Caster Curse. It is, absolutely. And it's going to make the combo duck a doobie here, too. Having a rather slow round compared to some of the ones that we saw earlier in this match. And very even now, two on two. Who's got the spike? It's all the way on spawn right now. Looking to maybe make that A push instead. Nope, Psyche are going back to B. Solid 2v2. Spike's still not playing it, but it's okay because they have a lot of time. Uh, Tedward Gaming is on the other side. They had a read. It was incorrect. Phase up are going to get this plant for free. Be able to play that post plant. By now, Tedward Gaming should be rotating over. Spike planted. Yep, Cypher on that cam. They know. And they're on their way over. All right. So, yeah, they're going to spot everything out, but try to make their way over. But again, with the spike just being down, it's going to make things extremely difficult. So I'm going to lead the charge alongside Duck Adobe to try and make something happen here. However, the side of phase up have been here ready to rock for like the last couple of moments here. Even by the time Tedward get here, they, they need a quick elimination and somehow get on that spike immediately. I think too much time has gone. They're going to try and make an attempt at least for maybe some eco damage, but I can't see them even getting the spike if it's yeah, successful. They have so much utility, it's almost impossible. Yeah, it just stalls us out so much. It is going to be set of taking doves out, and Duckadoobie does get the elimination onto Elvis, so good job in regards to eco damage, but at least one of them, Duckadoobie, is going to get caught up in that bomb, so... Mm. Well, it was last <laughs> round, sleep. so eco damage. Very true, kind very true. I'm talking about eco damage. We're at half time. Hello, <laughs> yeah. get in the game here, sir. <laughs> it's all good. Phase up with the lead, 8-4 to four in the half, now on defense sunset. Given how aggressive phase up has been throughout th this tournament, I wonder if they're going to make the same kind of aggressive plays on defense, just to sort of try to maintain their lead as best they can, you know? Tedward Gaming, though, doing a bit of a phase up cosplay and looking to just send five players down B main. Oh, as I said, four, actually, because Cypher is going over to Lurk A. But still. Mm -hmm. The spirit is there. Numbers advantage is towards B. Elvis has the flash out. My intel. The only question is if they can shoot it in time and how they react to the uh, <laughs> supporting utility, I guess. Okay, slowly going to make their way towards this B site. A group of three immediately going to be pinged out here by Aura Man. So that is going to get the rotation from basically everybody here on the size of phase up with the exception of the omen and gecko they're actually determining not to send everybody probably a wise choice because you can see some hesitation on the side of tedward gaming going back towards that middle sector and decide again what they would like to do and it's a good call because at the moment mid is completely open there's not even anyone in market there probably will be soon but for most of this game, or for most of this round, sorry, it's been pretty empty. Only just now, Kinetic is peeking that stairs angle, does end up seeing Snorlax, but does not commit to the fight. And from here, Tedward Gaming, again, they have options. Cheesecake walking up top mid alone, trying to take a fight. Um, somehow wins that onto Elvis. Gets that kill onto Elvis. Is stunned up, but it's all good because nobody can capitalize. Dubs. Oh. Getting the kill okay. onto Snorlax, bringing it down to an even 4v4. Kinetic and Dubs together, trying to make the best out of the situation. Dubs absolutely doing just that, getting another kill onto Nyx. Sev forced to plant the bomb at A. Cheesecake, meanwhile, getting a kill onto Kinetic and evening up the score again at 3-3. Sev getting the kill onto Dubs and bringing it now to a, in favor of Tedward Gaming at 3v2. Stray elimination after stray elimination all converges now on <coughs> towards this A site. We have Aura Man and then I believe that is Larry Banks going from the southern side to try and make the play and it's not going to work for either of them. This could be the momentum swinger to get Tedward back into this game as they bring this to a 5-8 game. Not bad at all. Not bad. Honestly, I thought that phase up were going to win that initially just because of like how they were winning. Well, they, they they started out that round winning a lot of gunfights, no? And then somewhere towards the end, they kind of they kind of just, um, I don't know, it, they, it was lost on them. Something happened, I don't know. But uh, th clearly they don't want to let that affect them because uh, Doves has a Bucky and their Neon has a Marshall. So um, even though they lost the last round, they're definitely looking to win this round as Tedward Gaming take that B main space. Yeah, immediately counterattack with this fantastic round of their own 
on the cards. Can they pull that one off, however? Or a man, good line of sight toward pretty much exactly where everybody's going to make their way. But a little bit of COD timing coming on through here. Right as they turn their back, here comes the squad as they tear through the area banks as well as Aura Man in very, very quick fashion, leaving that B site pretty much wide open. The Omen's there, but I don't think the Omen wants to try and go through, uh, you know, all five. Probably so not. might uh, just wait for this thing to get planted. Wait for Elvis to get their way back over here and try to push his three versus five. Still, it's not looking good for Phase Up Tedward Gaming. All their players alive. Two people had rifles. No, how many people had rifles? I didn't. I don't remember. But point is, gun power definitely in favor of Tedward Gaming. Kinetic does end up getting the shot onto Nyx, though. It's a start. Cheesecake brought down to 20 HP. Doves jumping down from death from above with a Bucky. Snorlax trading it out. Kinetic trading that out. Trades going back and forth. There it goes. But ultimately, Tedward Gaming win it out. Okay, Valiant's effort to bring that way closer than in theory that it should have, but not enough to get the job done. Tethered Gaming now at the half, just sitting rather pretty after getting those last two rounds. Granted, again, now Phase Up has their opportunity to build up as best as possible, but again, not like completely full buys in regards to armor or anything like that. And if this round does go south, that is going to be putting them in for yet another world to hurt. For sure, but we will see how this goes. Looks like Phase Up trying to take that aggressive V main space. If everything goes to plan, we'll end up meeting Tedward Gaming in the middle. So uh, almost getting timing there by Aura Man. Aura Man does end up getting his one, but Snorlax trades it out and gets another one of their own. Duck a Doobie gets Kinetic, but is traded out by Elvis. So it is a three v two once again in favor of Tedward Gaming. The spike is down. I don't know if Snorlax expects this. Oh. Of course they do. Why wouldn't they? They're just good at the game. But do they expect another? Do they expect the last player, Elvis, in this one v three? Yes, they do. But Elvis wins the fight regardless. Picking up that gun, trying to dodge the flash, take their time, but ultimately, Nyx wins it out. I was say, yeah, you got the gun, but unfortunately it wasn't like ready for you. Brave attempt to try to make that one happen, but not going to be enough. And this game again, it basically tied one round away. Right after half, once again, Ted, we're just on an absolute tear here. And with phase up hurting again after what was relatively a, another convincing round there for themselves. They have the potential to kind of run away with this now that they're on the right side. Mm -hmm. And even though Phase Off is on a weaker buy right now, the Neon Ult is up. So if maybe if they get like a pick or two, popping the Neon Ult could very well secure the win. Absolutely. Right spot, right position could definitely be the answer that they're looking for here. Going to smoke off that center and, and give themselves a little bit more time to figure out how they want to handle this next attack. But... Line of scrimmage on the side of phase up and look like maybe A again? Probably, yeah. They have that cypher lurk over towards B. But I um, think, if anything, for now, they're just kind of waiting, holding for any aggression. But none will be coming from phase up. They are, in fact, doing the same thing, predict somewhat predicting. A I don't know what they're predicting, actually. Neon's just kind of in spawn, unsure on where to go. I think somewhere more so towards A, but it's unclear mm -hmm. if Tedward are even ending there right now. Cypher not even starting the lurk on to B, coming back to A. So yes, it looks like they are ending A. The Dizzy getting shot down, that all but confirms there is presence A. And Elvis now just has to survive, absolutely flooded by utility. Omen blind, breach stunned, everything. Nyx cannot make it into sight, the Gecko Molly. Cuts them off. Snorlax getting two of their own somehow. Oh my god. The Doves with the Judge just spamming the Judge. Nyx gets the trade and Snorlax gets a third. And now it is a 1v3 for Oraman. Can they pull it off? Okay, granted, there's a couple of health bars here and they got the jump on one, got the jump on the second one. Whoa. Could possibly make this one happen, but Sev is right there Close. to get the pickup. Sure, you got two, but they finished the job nicely. We have ourselves a tie game, 8 8. Close rounds. Close rounds are always the most tense. <laughs> Gotta love it. Uh, personally, I'm more of a fast rounds kind of person. That's just me. Cypher ult is active for the right side there. of Tedward Gaming, and actually both sides have Cypher ult. Um, this time though, Neon ult is up for Tedward Gaming, so another mm. ult that's good for execs. And speaking of execs, there's five guys over towards B, and it looks like Snorlax is oh boy. all up in there, yep. sending, that into st sending in the stun, oh. getting the kill. 
Wall is up, but they get tagged by the trip. Luckily, Aura Man can capitalize, get that kill. Oh no. Trying to save themselves, trying to weave, bob and weave in the cages. Dove somehow getting a spam kill through the smoke onto Sev. I know uh, that was absolutely way. perfect time there from the, uh, I believe that was the alt on the side of face up. Might have just given them the slightest of glimpses if somebody <laughs> was there and managed to find the headshot. So good in that regard. But now we have ourselves a three on three. We're going to run this thing all the way back to the A site with the spike in hand. There is though Nyx and the rest of the squad from Tedder ready to make the move. Yeah, Doves was ahead oh. of it, but unfortunately that cheeky TP spot ultimately comes back to bite them as they are immediately cleared and killed by Nyx. Cheesecake getting that plan down, has to stop as they're killed by Elvis. Duck Doobie getting the kill onto Auroman. Elvis oh trading it back, popping that gecko ult. Oh, and he I swear that, yep. Oh, and the good hits. night. And good, that's it. Elvis gets their third and secures the ninth round for phase up. <laughs> the, emergen <laughs> the emergency fishy coming in clutch. Oh my goodness. What a way to finish up the round. Valorant players are probably cringing to like keep referring to these things as Pokemon or fish or whatever, but I mean They are it's in, in it's one way are. it's one way for me to understand this. And there's a player I have to apologize to real quick and then curse out another. So uh <laughs> Snorlax, I'm sorry for not uh believing in your neon at first, as he now sits ahead of this lobby with twenty two. And then, oh no, what happened to Duck Doobie in coming four K. So here we'll see what happens this time by but with phase up in the lead, Tatter Gaming looking for some sort of answer nice and quick. And it looks like the breach alt and go is going to be the answer, but it is immediately two for two traded down towards that B site. But ultimately, Nyx tips the balance in Tedward Gaming's favor as the spike plant goes down. Dubs trying to get one. Does it succeed in getting that one as Sep swings out a little too wide? Nyx just holding the corner, waiting for any kind of push, unable to plant until they know that they're completely safe. Duck a doobie, though, with support from Main. Trying to yeah. probably hold from any aggression from backside. Yeah, has that long sight line there, but could very well just make things difficult. And actually the ultimate there from the omen on the side of Ted, we're immediately going to the A site to plant this, which is going to turn this into a drag race between these two teams. Of course, Nyx is already there, but will their backup arrive? Dr. Doobie is trying to run as fast as possible to get into position. Meanwhile, phase up kind of want to cut him off, but it's not going to end up happening that both members on Tedward are on site. 2v2 resig now for Elvis and Doves. Can they do it? Duck a Doobie holding that, that one-way smoke. They're both holding the one-way smoke, but fortunately for them, they are coming from the other way. But they must, they can absolutely hear it by now. Doves smoking off that bomb, sending in the wingman. Luckily, oh though, my. the wingman destroyed. Elvis trading it back. Elvis has to stick the bomb, spraying, oh spraying. My. Oh! Low HP, but luckily it was halved, and Elvis will get the 10th round for phase up by the skin of their teeth. Heartbreaker there for Tedward Gaming. They had him down to like 5 HP, but could not get the <laughs> elimination. Yeah. Fantastic job there from Elvis and the rest of phase up to pull that one off and really starting to put the heat, put the danger here onto Tedward Gaming as game one is getting closer and closer to complete it. Right. And this will be the last full buy round for Tedward Gaming in a bit if they cannot. If they lose this yeah, that round, would hurt. They're, yeah, it would hurt. Like, their economy would be cooked for a little bit. <laughs> They'd be basically fighting back with game point. Yeah, so this is crucial for them. Absolutely, and it's looking like B site is the site of choice, at least off the initial oh. spot. Kinetic, though, immediate double. Larry with a double. Oraman shutting everything down. Goodbye, economy. Good luck getting back into this one, unless you want to play flawless after this. Okay, so I said that their economy would break, but uh, some of them can still buy rifles. So even though th most of the team is on sheriffs, there's still like a fraction of a chance, uh, like a tiny margin in which Tedward Gaming can bring it back. All Given right. that, they set up their rifle players well enough. All right, Cheesecake D Legend on the Guardian. Let's see it. 4K <laughs> coming up. 
hopefully I didn't just curse him immediately, but we'll... Knock on wood. We'll, yeah, we'll... coming up. <laughs> we'll have to see, because this is a bit of a spread out play, which, to be honest, the Guardian probably wouldn't necessarily mind too much if the opening does, yeah. Yeah. like, go in its favor here. But now as we start leaning more towards that A site, it's actually going to be phased up on the aggression, pushing the, the attackers right back almost into their spawn. That's going to be one for Larry, possibly another now that the rocket's Whoa. out. And there's a massive crossfire here from phase up covering all angles it's a massacre there's nothing snorlax can do running for their life cheesecake getting two in the chaos but is ultimately killed by larry banks and aura man securing that last kill onto oh, snorlax man. bringing phase up two game points now that was not something that i expected in the slightest here where phase up went on the attack themselves <laughs> and just absolutely caught tedward gaming by surprise is what it felt like there. Multiple ankles covered, perfect little crossfires yeah. to the point where that was basically a three for one that started things off. Right. It does not get that much better, especially when not everybody had full firepower. Right, but also Tedward Gaming, uh, somewhat, at least on A, expected the aggression from phase up. They were pulled up towards spawn and still just because of that gun diff, they could not manage mm -hmm. to win up the round. So really just an unfortunate situation. Elvis and Doves pushed up waiting for that aggression from Tedward Gaming, but it will never come. Sev just waiting, holding, as they did last round. But this time, phase up, don't get aggressive. They let Tedward Gaming do their thing. Just holding that A main space, getting ready to take a fight, but definitely letting Tedward Gaming come to the oh. Kinetic gets that first, is traded out by Duckadoobie. Doves sending out the blind, the ace concussed though, so they cannot capitalize. Hearing the neon running away, Duckadoobie rips the cypher ult, and from here, this is where Tedward Gaming have to decide their next move. Yeah, they all split up, take their own paths, but there is at least a little bit of coverage here from Cheesecake to choke out this midsection where majority of the face-up squad are. And actually with that hitting, gonna try and use Whoa. Hunter's Fury, try and get a little bit of extra damage, has to cut it off early, however, as they were on hot pursuits after firing that first shot. If Larry Banks gets the pick onto Cheesecake, or man gets the pick onto Nyx, and this may just be it for Tedward Gaming. Aura Man, stuck in market, trying, trying to sort of crunch the players stuck on B site. Very soon, if, if Tedward Gaming don't do something soon, they will be surrounded. But really, there is nothing can, they can do. All they can do is hold, try to destroy that fish. But they're already out of market. Snorlax gets one, gets another. They, okay. they know where the next two are. Hold. Gets the third. I Taps. believe. Oh. But unfortunately, they could not close it out. It was almost perfect, but unfortunately, Aura Man was just more ready for it, securing the defuse and securing the 13 to 8 win for Phase Up. Oh man, that was almost so close to being a hero moment there for Snorlax, but does get shit down by uh, by Aura Man right at the very, very last second. And as we can see, everybody just kind of leaning back in the chairs a little bit, happy that they've got the one in the pocket there. You see Phase Up from the orange and closer to the camera here. Just feeling really, really comfortable. Meanwhile, you don't necessarily get to see too good of an angle of it, but you will see some of the heads kind of tilted on the side of uh, of Tedward Gaming. Just a little bit of frustration boiling over as we get into this next one. Game number two I do have here. Just going to confirm real quick, unless you happen to have remembered it from what I said earlier. I'm just pulling a blank real quick. Haven is where we're going to be going. So... That'll be happening in a moment's time. Lotus, if necessary, is going to be there. But it's still a very well-fought first game. Oh, for sure, yeah. The, I think you mentioned it earlier, the uh, the neon um, usage, just like the, the play style, I guess, mm. of the character was very good for both sides. The supporting utility, top-notch. The amount of times I saw people stunned, blind, like I felt like I was getting blinded through the screen. Mm. Like, and, they, and, they, and they make it easier for us on the observer side. Oh, yeah. yeah even, <laughs> even still, like our screens are filled up with everything. Oh, for sure. It's it's honestly chaos. Um, Valorant is tactical, by the way. It is a tactical game. Um, <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Yeah. It's, it, it's just... Um, it's fun like that. Yeah, not quite on the level of Overwatch in terms of visual diarrhea, but it definitely does have those moments where it does uh, come off that way. But game two is yeah. going to be around the, um, around the corner in just a moment's time. Going to, a couple of the players are taking a quick breather after that one. But any final thoughts for game number one before we throw us to a quick break? Good Valorant. Yes. Those are my <laughs> yeah. thoughts. Hey, short and sweet. 
Fair enough. Mm -hmm. And there'll be more good Valorant coming right around the corner just after this five-minute break. There we go. Quick break, and we're right back into the swing of things here of our grand final here at the Summoning 2024. Phase Up currently leading the charge here after really making that last little bit of game number one go into their favor. Tedward Gaming fought hard, but could not quite get the job done. But, all right, here we go into game number two in just a moment's time. Now we're on Haven. Now we have three sites to deal with. What changes? What changes? Uh... The Sentinels, <laughs> clearly, as Sentinels. you can see. Yeah, yeah. no, look, because the uh, the Sentinels are different. Otherwise, it's pretty much a mirror comp. Fair um, enough. I would like to see more, like, I know they were working mid a lot last game, but I would like to see more, um, more fakes would be pretty cool, I think. I didn't see a lot of, like, fake, uh, like, sight hits in the last game. I see, I see. I mean, at least if you take um, mid control you can actually plant there now yeah that's true <laughs> that's something i guess a little bit different here and then one thing we were being asked of course about was the um in regard to the pokemon box opening that has not taken over saints gaming ca2 yet we're still trying to figure out where that's going a little bit of a timeliness issue in that regard so if anybody's tuning in just looking for that don't worry you have not missed anything it has not quite hit the screens yet so Bear with us there, as we will get it up somewhere on a channel very, very soon. But with that being said, of course, we still have our Grand Finals happening here. Phase up looking to be crowned the kings of the summoning, if they can just bring this game back into their favor. Mm -hmm. Tedward Gaming starting off for that mid-control, but the jet on the side of phase up is sort of posted in garage, maybe expecting some mid-presence. Sev 
sending their utility Oof. into B, <laughs> runs into the trip, but their teammates make it out anyways. Dubs gets that oh, first kill onto Duckadoobie. Cheesecake trades it back though. Snorlax, everyone is already on the site. Cheesecake gets another Aura Man. Tr finally takes down Cheesecake, bringing it to a 3v3. Larry Banks gets the kill onto Snorlax. Nyx gets the kill onto Larry Banks. People are dying left and right. Things are going to chaos. Nyx, they decide to. Yeah. Oh, well, I was going to say they decide to go A. But um, no, they decide to oh. try to play for their one. And they get one. Oh. They are traded by Elvis. So it is a 1v1. Elvis versus Doves. Doves is low. Already pushed up in that CT. Wow. And I say Doves, I meant Sev. Sev ultimately wins it out with that movement diff for yeah. Tedward Gaming. Sev got the dub, at least this time by here after a cheeky little play. That B site just turned into a mosh pit or a, uh, a blender or something. That was absolutely terrifying, to <laughs> say the least. But good on Sev to find the opening to just kind of sneak out that right side, go to the A site, while everybody else was still du uh, dueling each other. And then I believe it was uh, Nyx as well. Well, props to them who kind of held their ground towards that B site. So when the phase up squad finally uh, realized what was going on, was able to at least get the trade to make sure it was a one-on-one. -on -one. Right, for sure. And I don't know if you noticed, but Dove's bought a Bucky. <laughs> Aura Man has a Sheriff. They are definitely... They don't want to waste any rounds if they can help it. Snorlax, though, is just so aware. One taps Aura Man through the... Like, just with a f nice flick headshot. Tedward Gaming now, all grouped up towards A and looking to exec. Yeah, off to the A sites we go, kind of stuck in an awkward little corridor, right on the low ground, and Doves is going to immediately get dashed past and eaten alive there by Duckadoobie, and a few more are following suit. Nyx is going to take care of one, but Kinetic does get phase up on the board. Cheesecake immediately taking them down, however, which means, Elvis, it's all up to you again, and no chance. Team Ace is going to secure number two. Not much to say, just... Very clean from Tedward Gaming. The awareness from Snorlax in that early round was very, very good. That could have been catastrophic, but luckily they were able to uh, flick over and secure that kill. <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah, these walls are supposed to be soundproof, but there's just so many people right now yeah. in the Nexus. Just heard that someone we could, cheering. We could hear people cheering, and that's what we love to see. One thing, though, I guess for uh, Tedward Gaming to kind of be worried about is, is I feel this is exactly what happened in game one. What do you mean? Like, I think they went up 2-0, and then all of a sudden it just ended up being, like, tied up. Or I could be mm -hmm. wrong. I could be losing it a little bit, so I guess don't don't uh, quote me on that one, actually. Well, uh, there is a saying where if you lose pistol, you win the game. So I mean, if anything, I, I've watched enough Saints Valorant to know that that's absolutely true. Yeah, so. exactly. So <laughs> you never know. We might be good. Kinetic does end up breaking that drone, giving up their space and short dashing away. And so far, both teams are still pretty spread out. Yeah, no hard committals for anybody as of this moment. No damage taken for anybody as of this moment either. It's going to be Snorlax. It's going to be for this one up. Actually, possible collision here with Kinetic. A little bit of damage taken, but nothing too critical. 60 is still plenty to work with. Tedward Gaming trying to regroup, trying to find something, any kind of pick. Larry Banks sending that drone out for info, noting the turret but not spotting any players. I don't think that drone saw Nyx. Still, Larry Banks is not peeking, already on their way over to A because that's where the read is. But unfortunately, Tedward Gaming is on their way to C. With a lone cipher on, on, on the on the sites, oh. Elvis luck, gets one. Aura Man from Garage gets another, trying th their best to help out their teammate. Now Elvis stuck back site, fully blind, trying their best, has to get one. Larry Banks wow. in with the support, gets onto Sev. Elvis gets the kill onto Cheesecake, and okay. Elvis holding down the site like a champion gets their third kill of the round onto Nyx and gets the first round from Phase Up. Being able to find an elimination or two the way that Elvis just did and kill that much time to the point where everybody else was able to come reinforce in time? Yeah. When that was supposed to be like a five on two? Yeah, and even just Elvis like staying alive in mm -hmm. the, that chaotic moment, sitting back plat instead of like, I don't know, panic spraying or swinging, literally just having their presence on the site, having mm -hmm. to be something for, Ed, uh, for Tedward Gaming to worry about. That alone does numbers, so the fact that they got three kills is just like, it's even, it makes it even better, honestly. Absolutely. A lesser player in that instance would have been like, oh, there's so many of them here. If I just go one for one, I did my job, right? Yeah. But no, just did your job and then some. It's a fantastic job. Getting there. paid overtime. Absolutely. But now, next round underway. 
A little bit more love towards the center side for both these teams. We're going to A-ram it right in the middle for most of these teams. It's going to be Kinetic and Doves who do secure two. But now that Seasight is pretty much locked down. Next, though, I find a nice little quick pick. And now Doves again Ooh. immediately answered. Finds Whoa. another one for their troubles. And just this A-ram, like, R6 style, just bob and weave Honestly. through cover kind of battle just goes into the... Uh, the uh, face up win column. Yeah, honestly, everyone on face up looks really good right now. Everyone is just. I don't think. Have we seen any like standout plays other than from Elvis? Right here. I don't think Elvis so. Elvis was uh, definitely the one standout. I'll give credit to for like some of the smart plays that the uh, Tower Gaming Omen had for round number one. Mm. But like in terms of like a crazy pop off of sorts, no, it's been more so like supportive plays, which mm. of course supportive plays will never get on the scoreboard, oh, yeah, but they're sure. just as important. As we do see Snorlax diving on through, solid neon impression, immediately dying right off the garage. And now that just gives the go ahead for the rest of the squad to dive on through. Nice one from Elvis actually though, headshot on the sap. He is gonna steal one, Aura fights Whoa. one, finds two, fantastic flick over. Clean from Aura already putting Nyx in a 1v5. That's impact. That blind had impact. I'm not Absolutely. really sure what Snorlax was trying to achieve, maybe dashing over the trip, but ultimately it was kind of not the best decision just because the teammates couldn't follow up. Aura okay. Man holding it down, securing the round, securing their fourth, and a flawless for phase up for their third in a row. I mean, to be the fair there for Snorlax, how often are people actually going to hop onto the windowsill to peek out the smoke? Like, That's fair. A lot of people just kind of be a little bit more timid in that kind of position and just wait for the smoke to go down. Mm. But uh, not that time. Immediately eats it. Definitely going to be regretting that one and thinking twice the next time they try that one. But with the way these last couple rounds have gone, phase up, now that they've got a little bit of economy for themselves, have been absolutely on fire. And Tepper Gaming going back to the, the classic five-man A hit. Five-man sight hit. Hey, if it ain't broke. <laughs> Don't fix it. <laughs> But Doves is already ahead of it, already rotating back onto site. Elvis popping their cages, getting that spam. So much damage is being done. Does find the kill onto Snorlax. And already Sev also at a very low HP from that spam. Cheesecake sending out the counter drone, trying to find any semblance of, of information. But no one is spotted. Nyx blinding that default. This exec is look, shaping up to be very, very good for uh, Tedward Gaming so far. Absolutely, and with a bunch of uh, face members. We've got three of them currently on site, one up in heaven, one now. We're going to trade one for one to start off this engagement here, but this does sound the alarm for the rest of the players on the side of phase up to make their way, with the exception of Sova, who's still maybe thinking twice. Or a man is on site, having a fantastic start to this game. Could be absolutely deadly point. if left alone. But we see Seb, we see all of Tedward now, just really, really hesitating. They're surrounded on majority of sides, especially if the Sova moves up. Yeah, and there is a flank. It's just very, very far away. Yeah. So technically, Tedward is surrounded right now, taking those fights back site. No kills found, but damage definitely. Elvis, watching from heaven, being that sentry, is blinded off the angle. It ultimately dies okay. to Cheesecake, leaving Larry Banks in a 1v2. All right, so that wasn't exactly how I was expecting that one to go, but fantastic timing here for Tedward to make the play happen. All up to Larry Banks. He's going to shoot through the center of that spot, but not quite going to get any damage done. But with Cheesecake right there alongside, I think it's still Padubi there on the, uh, the KJ. There is just nowhere for him to really find a comfortable entry. Even Heaven doesn't necessarily give them the most comfortable of angles here, as he just cannot really get one without finding the other. And Cheesecake, immediate punish. That round did not go how I thought it was going to no, go. No, not in the slightest. <laughs> Very much a uh, surprise. Um, but props to Tever Gaming for bringing it back. Honestly, <laughs> that's what we get for doubting them. I feel like every time we doubt um, literally any one of these teams, um, it really feels that way. It, it, it just, we, we, we regret it pretty soon after. Okay. So, yeah, so if, if I've learned anything, this means that I have to cuss out Snorlax, I have to cuss <laughs> out Duck mm. then I have to cuss out Doves, I suppose, to make it even here. Mm. And now, uh, incoming like 4Ks and 5Ks in the next two or three rounds. We'll have to see. How to win Valorant. Verbal abuse. <laughs> oh, I mean. <laughs> I'll, I'll tell you what, a lot of people believe that. Have you seen Ring Solo Queue? Oh, yeah. Uh, oh, yeah. I've been in the, <laughs> I know. I've been in the 5 a.m. queues. I know all about those. Tedward Gaming, showing all that 
as much presence as I can towards A, slowly just contacting up, waiting for something to happen, waiting for some kind of aggression from phase up, but it's not happening, it's not coming, because it's just Elvis on that site alone, Cheesecake, meanwhile, not with their team, instead, Jiggling Garage isn't going to see anything, Elvis just chilling on their cam, average day in the life of a Cypher player, hmm. don't even really need to do anything, so far, yeah, everyone on phase posted up, just waiting, ready. Yeah, ready to go as we now do see Tower Gaming looking to try a relative similar st style as last time. They do spot Elvis, but that's going to be it. Now, what on the world is happening with that one player's arm? The love of the graphical glitch uh, there. <laughs> but Dubs now and the rest of the squad are going to just charge on through. And now that the Breach Ultimate's gone on through, oh. Dubs finds one. It's going to be Elvis finding the other. And it seems like so far so good here for Phase Up, but there is still Cheesecake trying to fight back here. The Jets here as well, extremely low, but a fantastic knife coming out here to shut down Snorlax. It is all up to Cheesecake to make this happen. And you might find one, but you're not getting the other and the defuse to secure it for a phase up. That run was so chaotic, I honestly uh -huh. have no idea what happened. All I know is that like, people were blinding and then the Killjoy ult came out and uh, utility, yep. Lots of that. <laughs> and then many a utility. Many a util here and there. And next thing you know, phase up wins the round, as per usual. Honestly, I, how can I even be surprised at this point? I don't know, but this is a good Valorant. I'm having fun. I like it here. Absolutely. <laughs> One thing that was tripping me out, though, I kind of mentioned there for a second. Did you notice how somebody's arm just, like, inflated to the point where it looked yeah. like a Resident Evil character? That would, I like, think what that's, on the world? I think that's um, the Omen. Uh, maybe it's because of the cape or something. <laughs> but it's only happening to Omen, so... Because, yeah, hey, that's tripped me out twice so far, yeah. and almost laughed both times. But now we have another attack, this time we're off to the A site. There we go, the paper airplane's back. <laughs> and it's gonna be off towards that B site. Immediately, though, Doves is showing up and showing out here. Larry is gonna get two before falling. Cheesecake does at least get the answer there, but now it's all up to Cheesecake once again, because all of your team has fallen. It, a, an attempt at a B hit and a failed one at that, but it, I mean, hold. Cheesecake makes it worth their while. It does pick up their third in the round, <laughs> but the uh, crouching walk spray from Aura Man will secure the fifth round for FaZe. Hey, if it's effective, I ain't gonna knock it. Nicely done there for FaZe up once again. Getting another round under the belt. And for these three, three um, site maps, does this change like the balance in regards to attackers or defenders? If so, like who do you think is kind of favored? Uh, if not, like what do you think? Yes. So usually when an, when a map has uh, three sites, it is more um, attacker sided, just because you have more options on like where to plant the bomb. Mm -hmm. um, that being said, Phase Up is doing really well on this defense so far. Like the reads, mm -hmm. the retakes have been great, which is like crucial for Haven because it's so retake heavy, just because you know three sites. Mm -hmm. um, and also just generally their their responses to Ted Word Gaming's execs have also been very good. It feels like they can just almost see into the future, I guess, if you want to call it that. Like they just kind of know what they're going to do. I know it's it's obviously not that. It's just you've played enough Ooh. and you know mm. what to expect. But still, it, it seems like that to me, a lowly plat player. Larry Banks from Heaven coming in, throwing those shock darts. Elvis trying to get aggressive CT, but the what? blast that Aftershock does push him out of there. Killing the molly with the op, okay, a bit overkill, but sure. Nyx in, heaven, in hell, unfortunately, does not find the kill onto Kinetic. Sev getting two for their troubles, and Elvis getting one with the op, and now it is all up to... Oh, Sheesh! It, it was all up to Cheesecake, but unfortunately, they, they could not do it. Um, hey, hey, guys, we just got to defend this site, and it's gone. Yeah. <laughs> and it's, it's, it's done. We're gone. These teams are honestly <laughs> rude sometimes, because I'm trying to say a sentence, and I can't even finish it. <laughs> they're just too they're just too fast. I can't comprehend what's going on. But uh I'm not complaining too much. Keep doing what you're doing. It's very fun. Absolutely it just goes to show the quality of the retakes here. Like you're saying from phase up, they're just so dang comfortable doing that to the point where you feel like they're the ones who had a couple of seconds ahead of time to set up post plants. But even I guess just post plants on at least the AE site anyway. Do feel, I guess, kind of predictable, but yet awkward yeah. at the same same time. So like, it's not super safe. At least this is just a outsider on or outside looking in kind of thing. 
I could very well just be talking out of my rear here, but um, definitely kind of get that aura. It's okay. We, we don't have to think about it too hard. We have fun here. Aura Man is going <laughs> to kill that drone in the funniest off angle I've ever seen. Cheesecake. <laughs> Sp trying to spam through the wall with that sheriff will not find any purchase, but it's okay because if anything they have some info. Tedward Gaming, meanwhile, is going to make their way up B, looking to exec onto that site, and it would be a good choice as nobody is on that site right now, unless Ooh. Larry Banks decides to swing out of garage. Cheesecake though brings okay. it back with two kills of their own. They're just like everyone in this lobby is just demons on the sheriff. Absolutely, and, they, and it leaves Tedward Gaming with the man advantage. Yeah, so far so good here, but of course that spike is not planted just yet, so they got to figure that out nice and quick. But with Cheesecake finding their third of this round, that is going to make things a little bit easier. Going to have to watch out, though. Kinetic as well as Elvis are on the way, and they are finding their eliminations one apiece. Two on two. Post plants positions secured, but it doesn't wow. seem to matter. They're finding each and every one until Nyx is able to at least get one off the board. But now... The Cypher first the Omen. Where does this go? Right Ooh. through to smoke. Good night. And that is one more on the board here for Tedward. Very well played from Nyx, honestly. Very well. Knowing that the Jet, knowing it's a 2v2, and knowing that the Jet has that op and is probably going to go back to Garage for a gun just to, you know, make the retake easier for themselves and just kind of getting ahead of that and waiting for them. Very smart play from Nyx. Alt economy for both teams. Fairly even, two ults each. Every team, both teams on a full buy. Except Tedward, I think they had a worse eco, so um, hmm. it may not be in the best spot if they lose this round. Yeah, of course they're hurting for the last little bit. Sure, they got the one, so it kind of rebounds them a little bit, I'm sure, but not enough to be comfortable by any means here. And we have quite the aggressive spread, it looks like from phase up this time by both the jet and now the cypher is still moving on forward maybe looking for a very aggressive play hunter's fury for hunter's fury to trade things off a little bit of t like chip damage but that's now two pieces of utility off the table that is going to be a cypher i think about to smoke this jet in just a moment's time i'm actually just going to let them walk right by it looks like okay sneaky sneaky but elvis might get pinched here actually Aura Man, meanwhile, taking that, just eating that flash in Garage. Luckily, though, they have a smoke to hide in. Elvis did end up getting that jet, that kill into Jet, as you said, but Duck -a Duck -a Doobie, these words are killing me. Hey, at least <laughs> Trades it back. <laughs> hey, at least it wasn't, I think it was the Gangi that had a... Oh, yeah, the key smash. I keyboard. didn't even say, I just said key smash. I remember that. <laughs> Fair enough. But in that process of us describing that, we just saw everybody get evaporated Ooh. with Larry Banks finishing the job here on to the breach and now had, i believe the, the border season. yeah here we are borderline before the half on a map that is supposed to be a tagger sided phase up is putting themselves in prime position to stop this tournament and its tracks if they could secure this next win yeah and this looks like a very probable win for phase up just because of the weak buy the two stingers the one bucky Mm. Snorlax having not not exactly a highlight game, which is uncharacteristic, but hey, everybody has bad games. It happens. Anyways, probably going to phase up, but that is, of course, if they play their cards, right? If they follow all the right protocols. See what phase up, see what they do. Um, Aura Man ratting in Garage just beyond his smoke, but he might get timing here if they decide to peek him right now. Luckily, they don't. Larry Banks, meanwhile, gets the kill onto Cheesecake. Or... Okay. Kinetic gets the op kill onto Nyx, Duckadoobie getting one of their own. I don't know if they're aware of Snorlax. They must be because they're holding it, but Snorlax might just uh, win this out. It's because okay. of the Bucky. Nope. They, they never cleared Aura, man. They never did. Oh my and, goodness. <laughs> and just like that, phase up, get their eighth round. And that's what I'm going to call an observer's nightmare, where you see the person with the yeah. shotgun. Yeah. <laughs> Two people in the smokes right there. You want the switch, but you know as soon as you switch, that's when the engagement's actually going to happen. Oh, yeah. Definitely feel those kind of moments the there. The amount of times it's happened to me is unreal. I feel bad uh -huh. for the Observer for this game. I feel hey, really shout out bad. Satan in the back who's directing yep. and observing at the same time right now. Absolute boss mode, so thank you for the holding the fort down. Yeah, Tedward Gaming. Choosing to start their pistol around kind of... I'm going to... What I'm going to guess is an aggressive A play. Um... 
but I'm not sure. Luckily, though, they're leaving B open, which is fine, because they can just retake. Phase up, looking for that <laughs> A pressure. Poppies. I think one's going mid window as well, yeah. Or a man is scanned by that dart. Nyx, unfortunately, is a little bit, just a little bit out of place, and it does get punished by Larry Banks giving them the first blood. I was going to say, it'd be absolutely such a message if they just straight up blitz the site on their first attack. And that is exactly what they do. Granted, they don't get it for scot-free, but they got the better end of it. That's for sure, as they slowly but surely fall through smokes and through anything else that you could possibly throw at it utility-wise does cause this to be yet another win here for phase up, winning the pistol rounds and putting them in a prime position to the, to basically win this entire tournament as long as they don't get thrifted. Surely they won't, right? There's no way they get thrifted. No <laughs> way. In the slightest. Wink, wink. Wink, wink. Nudge, nudge. Every yeah. time I see Phase Up sort of have a particularly good round, I feel like if I'm not commentating, of course, I feel like a um, like a sage teacher, you know, just wisely nodding at their students, like, "Yup, they just did that." Even though <laughs> I don't, I didn't know most of these players until today, but that doesn't matter. Duck Doobie taking cover in that smoke, trying to keep their life. Everyone's taking cover oh. in smokes. Everyone's just spamming through smokes. Snorlax it somehow gets a spam kill onto Kinetic. Sev also gets a kill around, but Larry oh Biggs my. just. Gets three out of absolutely <laughs> nowhere? Gets four? Okay. How many times has that happened in the series? Okay, so that's been twice now that phase up of basically just blitzed a site on two separate sides of the map. What are they going to do? Blitz B this time? That's the only <laughs> thing left on the menu in terms yeah. of things that they've just like beeline towards. And... It's making it so that Tethered Gaming cannot really get a read as to what they want to do. Honestly. They're surely not going to blitz every time, right? And then they do no, it again. No, surely not. I would hate to be Tethered Gaming right now because imagine you work so hard trying on the site retake and you're like, oh, yes, guys, we're in a 4v2. We're going to, we actually might have a yeah, chance not. to win this. <laughs> but then one of the, the people, the two people left is Larry Banks and they just get three and they just obliterate your chances. Like, I would cry, I think. I feel that. <laughs> Can I see Kinetic? Gonna be doing a couple pokes around the garage side. Oh, kitty. But <laughs> no blitz this time by. They're actually holding their own and taking their time. And honestly, if they wanted to go towards that B site, it's wide open. Ah, so your prediction might come true then. I mean, I don't want to be right, but I mean, they're in position. <laughs> if, if the shoe fits. Yeah. You gotta wear it. But right. it looks like they will be backing off, trying to go somewhere else instead. Probably A, as that's where their senti is lurked up. And also, yeah, everyone... Ha I don't know. If they thought are it was going to go to B. Yeah, no, but if you look at the minimap, Tedward are in kind of a weird spot right now where, like, everyone is basically rotated off all of the sites. Like, they're playing mm. so passive that no one is on a site. They're all just kind of in the connectors. It's kind of funny that it looks like they're playing post, uh, post plant on defense. <laughs> We just flipped the map, I guess. But yeah, phase up will do. They're going to get to plant this thing for n no contest. Uh, well, maybe some contest. Snorlax dashing in, finds the scan, somehow oh. gets the two wall bang kills onto Larry Banks and okay. Kinetic. Tedward actually have a chance in this round. Oh. Elvis, though, from Long, does take down Snorlax. Oh, but another two. Last player standing. <laughs> All up to the one player there onto the phase up. But Elvis is kind of stuck in a corner. Nobody defusing yet. There it is. Doug Doobie coming in clutch right when you needed them to be able to get themselves back on the board, stop the bleeding, and get round number five for themselves. Not a bad retake at all from Tedward Gaming. I was... Hmm. I have to really stop. I, I am a doubter. In my heart, I am a hater, I guess, because I just keep, like, doubting everything that these players do. <laughs> that sounds so way harsher than I intended it to be. I didn't mean it like that. You guys are good at the game. But what I meant is that <laughs> I was unsure of the whole, you know, play passive everywhere. Because how often do you see that, really, in, like, any game? Like, yes, obviously it happens, but not that much. But it, you know what? I should just, like, never speak again, because it ended up working... <laughs> Um, so yeah, I don't know. Maybe I shouldn't have an opinion on strats. Uh, they, they call it plat chat for a reason, right? True. No, I'm just, I'm just no, they do. I'm literally <laughs> plat. I, I am qualified. Oh, jeez, I am. So, 
so sorry, but no, we do have ourselves another engagement here onto this sea site, and it is yet another blitz strike alongside the Hunter's Fury, and that takes three off the board immediately. Tedward Gaming only got one in return. They will find one more here as Sev does manage to catch um, Aura Man on the rotation, but the spike is already planted, and this is a very aggressive post-plant position here for Elvis. Oh. Finds one, finds Ooh. the second with both the smoothest 3K I've seen in a little while. Yeah, this time the paper airplane was blue. <laughs> <laughs> yes, it was. I think it's just whoever, I think it's just uh, the Nyx's um, character model. <laughs> Unfortunate. <laughs> but it's okay, it adds a little spice. Definitely an amusing glitch nonetheless, but yeah. Ah, uh, pressure's on now. What are we going to see come out of Tedward? If you eco, then you're going to have to be perfect. Surely. Anything is possible. Can you turn the paper airplane into a shield? <laughs> like, <laughs> <laughs> can you, t Riot Shield? Can, uh, can Nyx just turn into Reinhardt real quick? But uh, <laughs> I don't think that is going to be a thing. And unfortunately, uh, the guess here for the side of Tethered Gaming is wrong. Seasight was easier. immediately blitzed onto. Oh. And oh. there's going to be a little bit of a trade back here. But again, spikes down, post plants are aggressive. Yikes. Yeah, Tedward Gaming already on a bit of a ticking clock. Snorlax says, we don't have time for this. We got to speed it up. Headshotting oh. Aura Man to the Shadow Realm. Doves gets the kill onto Sev. Ducka Doobie getting the kill onto Larry Banks. Oh, no Ducks, it, Doves is just, oh, jumping. People are jumping. What is happening right now? It's a jet off. <laughs> Suddenly, it's a jet off. And Kinetic is trying to get this read, trying to go into Garage, trying to guess where. Oh. Snorlax could be guessing, oh. but Snorlax ultimately wins it out. Do they have time though? I think they do. Wait for it. Yeah, They're they, good. Yeah, they do. They had a lot of time. <laughs> a lot of time. Only 0.9. <laughs> <laughs> I, I'm gonna be honest. Sometimes when I'm watching these, I kind of like barely process what's going on on the screen. I feel you. Because like I have to talk about what's going on too, right? And I can only focus on so many things. So sometimes I just sort of forget what what's happening in front of me and then when i zone back in it's like where am i and that happened when uh, doves was jumping around in spawn fighting snorlax yeah it was a very jarring moment also i'd like to note aura man's score here this is the ultimate support player 12 12 and 12. <laughs> no how often do you see that very rare that's for sure so we do see the blade serum going to be coming out here Whoa. and immediately go to fight an elimination here onto aura man solid shot from cheesecake but yeah, seeing Snorlax with the Blades are now going to get some additional assists here from Nyx. And now actually, Tedward, they're on a bit of a roll for themselves. Mm, yeah, they could have possibly bring it back. Kinetic, though, ha they definitely have something to say about that. Getting the kill onto Duck Doobie. Hearing that commotion out towards mid. Are they going to Ego Swing, though? I wouldn't recommend it, but yeah. they're already alone. Cheesecake takes down Larry Banks, and now it's all up to Kinetic. What, how much can they do? How much can they accomplish? I wouldn't run through that if I were you. I would save my weapon, but it's already too late for that. Oh, I would save my weapon, oh but my I'm not goodness. Kinetic. Kinetic popping the jet knives, hoping, just trying to find another kill. Hearing the Omen TP, everything is happening at once. There's a giant paper plane in their face. I wonder <laughs> if they can see this too. I really hope not. I doubt it. Oh, there it goes. <laughs> Snorlax getting the final kill onto Kinetic and getting Tever Gaming their seventh round. <laughs> can you imagine if you just... <laughs> Like, look we're at seeing, that. How we're do seeing you... it right here, right now. But yeah, can you imagine if just like, hey, you're uh, you're too strong, so Riot decided to nerf you. <laughs> you can never hide ever. Yeah. <laughs> Not only can Omen uh, teleport, he can also fly now with his giant cape. Oh my gosh. <laughs> he's a, he's like a jet Omen hybrid. But that was pretty funny, though, a couple of rounds ago. I've never seen, or not that I've never seen, I probably have, but it's very rare that I see a jet player use the updraft just, like, in the middle of battle, and it actually works as, like, a fake out mechanism. Yeah. It helped true. that the smoke was there. Mm, but it true. actually uh, did work out, so it was a cheeky little play. But now, again, phase up on the verge of round 12 victory if they can pull this one off off to the garage and onward seems to be the name of the game as Seasight does have two people um, there to assist. Yep, that contact garage play does get them pretty far. Sev is blinded yeah, and concussed and so just the whole kitchen sink kinetic is on that site getting that first engagement onto Duck Adubi. Oraman luckily trades them out. It is a 4v4. Oh, I don't know. 
I can't count clearly. It is a yes v yes. It is a yes point. versus yes. People are dying left and right. The bomb isn't even down yet. The bomb planter is one HP. This is a mess. Can phase up bring it back, or will Tedward Gaming get their eighth? Absolutely, because now they're on the outside looking in. Granted, they have both locations kind of covered, but there is the possibility of a pinch here. Onto who I believe that is Snorlax. Snorlax does get the one. Elvis gets Ooh. chipped down, actually in a really, really rough spot here. Dead Jet, there goes, charges on through. Now really puts Elvis in a very, very rough position. Gonna look for it, sprays on through. Oh. Does actually stop the diffuser, but the elimination from Nyx should spare them enough time to get this defused. As you can see, 14 seconds still on the clock. And there we go, post plant secure here for Tedward. That was phase of Zika round though, wasn't it? Yeah, it was, now they have money, so. Okay, so the fact they did that much damage on Eco is actually impressive. Yeah, it's a that's pretty good Eco round. Um, and they do also have a Breach ult to work with, so that's not bad at all. Meanwhile, though, on the side of Tedward, they do have that Killjoy ult to work with and a Operator from Snorlax. So yeah, once again, even rounds, it just really depends on the strats. It looks like phase up. If I could, ca if I had a dollar for every single five man A push I've seen today, I would have several dollars. I could probably buy me some food with that. Absolutely. <laughs> can easily find a couple of uh, Timmy's double doubles at this point here with the way that's been happening throughout the entire day. But we are going to see right towards the A side, charging on through alongside the Breach Ultimate. Everybody's concussed, including ourselves at this point, yep. as our screens are full of smokes. Two members down like from it. Tedward. And now the retake has to be absolutely perfect. But the Killjoy ult might make things a little bit difficult. Right, but. The bomb is already down, so technically this doesn't even affect phase up that much if their original plan was to play post plant. Oh, that breach uh. util definitely will do something though. SVV getting that kill onto Aura Man. Duck a doobie getting the clean headshot onto Larry Banks. 2v3 in favor of phase up, but the breach on phase up is very, very low, so this is could go either way. Elvis wow. trying, spraying, getting that kill. Duck a doobie somehow, meanwhile, getting three. Tapping, sticking, trying their best, has to... Holding it, holding it, and I don't think Elvis is yeah. going to... Yeah. Oh. Dunkadoobie gets their fourth and the ninth for Tedward Gaming, and a pros never fake. You know what they say. I mean, we've been saying that a lot today. Yeah. I feel like I've been repeating myself a lot today. Hey, well, we get the same scenarios over and over again. Fair enough. I can't fault you for it. But now, yeah, sure, that was the... Uh, the eco rounds a couple rounds ago, they're still able to buy up to majority assault rifles. I think I saw somebody with a stinger, so not yeah. everybody could quite load up as they would like to. But lots of low armor uh, agents in this one. I wonder if FaZe are going to try and blitz this again. Right, and f this is also this is a crucial round for FaZe. If they lose this round, they will be broke. And then may potentially have to deal with either 11 or a match point, either of which, obviously, of course, they probably wouldn't want considering they want to win this game. Kinetic trying to trying through the smoke uh -oh. is not able to find them, but Elvis is able to compensate, pick up two of their own. Snorlax is scanned by the Cypher ult. Oraman posted up in hell, waiting for that CT push. Plant is down. 2v4 in favor of phase up. Duck a doobie, though, does get the kill onto Elvis. Yeah, with the Elves going down, had a fantastic couple of plays, but there's still so many other members of Phase Up here. This is tournament point now here. Phase Up are on the doorstep to call this one after two. But they just need one more to get the job done and a crucial win at that, because like you were saying, if they had the fight back, this would have been uh, the tables have turned kind of moment, because mm -hmm. it would have required an eco, and now it would have been Tedward with probably 12 with... Uh, match point on the line but this is where we are right here right now do we see another blitz it's been kind of like a 50 50 success rate i think maybe but this time it will be in mid it's been a while since the b site saw some action so it could very well be and in fact it looks like they're kind of walking that way and i guess a little bit more towards c the killjoy there Duncan Doobie, is there if necessary but uh yeah it looks like it's going towards that c site Yep, phase up already. 
meeting an empty site, already getting that plan down, but Cheesecake utilizing that Sova ult, getting the scan onto Oraman. The spike does go down, but in exchange for Oraman's life, Kinetic, though, has to sort of offset this somehow. Pushed up aggressive, duck a doobie. Oh. But Elvis is aware of the lurk. The, tr the trades are going back and forth, and it, all of a sudden, it's numbers advantage for Tedward Gaming. The oh, Sova, ult, Fury. Sova ult on the side of phase up is already out, but Larry Banks cancels it. Larry, oh. Oh my gosh, still doable. They found one. They found a second. It's all up to Snorlax to get the job done here. The smoke is there. Oh and there my. we go from downtown. Larry Banks is going to secure the summoning Valorant tournament here after a fantastic showing. That was holy so awesome. moly, what a way to finish that one off. Yeah, that was insane. Very good clutch from Larry Banks. And honestly, what a fun series overall. That was Absolutely. fun to cast. My eyes kind of feel like really You've bad. You've been here I, way I longer like, than I have. Yeah, I, like dead. <laughs> <laughs> I've been, I've seen the flash animation so many times, I feel like I'm literally getting flash bang <laughs> in real life. Um, but it's okay, we push through it, you know, uh, the win secured, W secured. <laughs> it's been a long day, but um, I don't know, overall it was worth it, very fun Valorant I've seen today. Oh, absolutely, just this entire event as a whole has just been absolutely fantastic. Big shout out to everybody who helped to, to put this one on, but then of course, big shout outs here to phase up. They were the favorites coming in. They absolutely showed why. However, it wasn't by that much. Tedward Gaming, absolutely. Both of these games, it's going to show as a 2-0, but it does not do it justice. The 13-9s yeah, both times, I believe. Definitely well fought. Very, very close in many, many moments where the series could have gone both ways. But just wasn't in the cards today here for Tedward Gaming. But um, phase up. Locked and loaded and secured it. Locked and loaded. Not much else to say. I don't know. Today was just like... Today was interesting, you know? I, I walk into the building and I just see, like... Obviously, I knew about the summoning, but there's also, right. like, just other things going on. There's so many things going on. And today is just fun. Today is just, like... I don't know. Today was a good day. Good Valorant being played. Good event being held. What else is there to say, really? Absolutely. And then with all of the TCG stuff also here, all the vendors who like brought their activities, like goes, there's the, the iRacing rig of Fry, the Mario Kart, Time Trials, Beat Saber, High Scores. There's just so much to do to, today. Again, I have not seen the Nexus spill over into the college I as much either, as yeah. I've uh, seen today for esports and for the... Uh, like the card game culture. And I love that we were able to get everything into one building today. A bunch mm -hmm. of activities are still um, in progress. Smash Melee, I believe, is currently just finishing up on the Enter the Dojo channel. We'll probably raid them if they're still going in a couple of moments. But we still do have to figure out what is happening with the pack opening. I'm not sure if they delayed for us or if the owners had to go home. Definitely going to be heartbroken if the owners had to go home. But I sure I mean, many people I, will be. I uh, I get it. It's been it's been a long day, so we're going to quickly figure that out in a moment. But of course, the last couple of shout outs once again just to phase up for the being the victors here of the summoning mm -hmm. 2024 to tedward gaming to the gangy and to the mickey mouse clubhouse thank you all for competing here today yep thank you and shout out to aiden in the back who's been observing and directing absolutely and all the other staff that worked on the event today absolutely so for the time being we're going to throw this to a very very quick break as we figure out it, what's next and if we are complete on this channel we'll come back on just for a quick goodbye or if you don't see us, it's probably because we got some cards. So hang tight. We'll be right back.
time here. So we did get the update on the Saints Gaming CA stream. They were opening the packs. You can definitely hop on into the VODs there if you want to see exactly what they pulled. I'll let you know though. Charizard did get away this time, but we got the Blastoise. So still some fantastic vintage cards pulled from that pack. Definitely recommend going to see and seeing the reactions of the people um, opening the packs there. But of course, one more time, big thank you for everybody for tuning in. Congratulations to Phase Up for being the Valorant champions here at the Summoning. But with that, Melee's all wrapped up, FGC is all wrapped up. It is now f not quite over, however, for anybody still at the venue. There is a concert that is just about to start in the SLC. Actually, it might have just started a few moments ago. So definitely want to make your way there while we also do have the Night Market for a couple of final activities for anybody um, who still wants to hang around. So, with that being said, that is all for us here at the Saints Gaming CA stream. Thank you so much for supporting us here um, at the summoning as well. And we will catch you tomorrow because there is still more Collegiate Rocket League to be played. The grind don't stop.